The nutrition program on this is at uh, planning, uh, two by two. We put uh, 40 units of FOSS down with the carbon boost, uh, two by two, and then uh, when the beans were about oh, 12 inches tall, we came back in uh, with a Roundup and carbon boost and, and some manganese. And, uh, and under the terrible drought difference, you could see the difference between the two where it was used and where it wasn't, guys. I mean, it's scary. And this, here we've got pods it at nodes where we got four, fives, and six uh, beans per node. And there's even a couple of four beaners in there. Not many, but at least there's a couple. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this product has so much application for here in the western uh, bean and corn belt where we have stress, water stresses are biggest by water and heat. And we've had it terrible here this year. And this on the left has not had carbon boost. Basically, it was planted 10 days prior to the one on the right, which has carbon boost in with it. But look at the difference in the size, the rooting, the amount of uh, pods on the beans. And terrible uh, drought stress down here. It was really droughty, yep. hot, dry. Hot, dry. Haven't had any rain here till just oh, ten days ago. Okay. And this stuff works for dry stress people. It makes the difference. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it in thirty years of doing this kind of work. It just works, people. But this is the whole next step of technology. I'm excited. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you bringing me out here and showing me this. I, you, you were real excited to tell me about it uh, yesterday when we were traveling. And I'm glad we came down this morning and saw this, and and uh, it's just totally amazing to see the differences there.